Hey everyone, I'm Alicia Kelly, the College Access Advisor from West High. Hi, and I'm Katie Dixon. I'm the College Access Advisor from Highland High. And I'm Miss Stephanie. I'm the Admissions Advisor for Salt Lake Community College. We are so lucky and thankful to have a Stephanie here with us today to discuss Salt Lake Community College. Uh, she's been an amazing resource for us as College Access Advisors and especially to our students. So those of you that are watching, we hope you'll utilize this video as a resource for you. Uh, to start, Stephanie, what are some important updates students should know about considering uh, everything going on right now? Um, yeah, so one really neat thing that we're doing is we're waiving the $40 uh, additional fee that we had for online courses. So we usually charge those additional $40 and we've decided to waive it for the summer since we are switching all courses to online. Um, so that's neat. You're saving that money there. And we are also changing the structure of our courses. So there's gonna be three different options for you. Uh, one will be to take the course completely online. So you work on it at your own pace whenever you can. Uh, the other option would be to have a scheduled lecture time. So you'll still be meeting with your instructor. You'll have virtual lectures at a set time and you will also be working online. So it's kind of both worlds there. And then our CTE courses, our competency-based education courses, those will be uh, completely online at the beginning of the summer and then hopefully switch to in-person at the end of the summer. Um, and then we also have started doing Q&As on Instagram. So if you have any questions, that's kind of a nice informal place to just pop in and ask any questions you might have that you think of at the time or that you maybe didn't think of and you want to just hear what everyone else is thinking. And we'll have our student ambassadors on there as well as our admissions team and our student association. So our leadership uh, opportunities on campus, they can also answer any questions you might have. And then also, as hopefully you all have heard, is that we don't require any ACT scores to, for admissions, but we do require them to place you into your English and math classes. So if you haven't had the chance to take a, the ACT exam and you want to come to Slick, it's okay. You can take our placement <laughs> test and we're offering that remotely. So you can do it at your house. You don't have to worry about going out, being exposed. You just go in and schedule your test and you can take it right there. Awesome. Um, please students rewind that and listen to that again if you missed any of it because it was all super important and pertinent. Um, so thank you. We have been seeing more and more schools accommodating their students, which is great. Um, however, I just want to remind students that it's important to listen to the specific instructions that is being put out by every school um, because everybody's doing things a little bit differently. So this is Slick's way. Uh, for those students that are planning on going to SLIC as their next step after high school, um, here's my next question for you, Stephanie. What should they be doing right now to prepare? What are some of the next steps um, that they need to take in order to get their semester started off in the fall of 2020? Um, yeah, so I'm actually going to go ahead and share my screen with you all so we can take a look at this together. So this is sort of what it's going to look like for you all uh, when you log into your MySlick page. And this is going to be where you find all sorts of info super important information for yourself. So your Bruin mail, for example, that's your student email. Please make sure you're checking this as often as possible. Uh, any sort of official or important uh, correspondence or conversations that you're having with us will go through this email. So please, please, please keep on top of it. I know some people don't check it and they have hundreds and hundreds of emails on there. <laughs> so keep on top of it. Um, and then for those of you that have um, decided to come to SLIC and have applied for scholarships or for those of you that are still hopefully working on applying to scholarships, uh, notifications of any sort of scholarships that you have been awarded will go through here as well. So again, very important. Please make sure you keep on top of this. Um, and then this is also where you'll access your courses on Canvas, any important dates such as registration, uh, which for the fall will open up on May 4th. So make sure you keep on top of this. And then also your semester checklist is where you can see the steps you need to take to complete your admission process. So if you click here where it says click to see your info, it will clear up that blurriness and then it will have a checklist of things that you need to do and it will check them off as you go. So um, that placement test that we talked about, we're saying that's checked off. And then after that, you would need to complete your orientation. Please don't forget to do that. We wanna make sure you know what resources are available to you. You can sign up for that online right here. And it's pretty neat, it's interactive. So hopefully you won't get bored. <laughs> Just make sure you complete that and get that requirement also taken care of. 
you're checking off all your little circles here. And then after that, you can register for your classes. If you need to meet with an academic advisor to go over your courses and make a plan for graduation, because um, that's what we're all shooting for, graduation, you would go to advising here and then scroll down to where it says, log into my success, because that is the program that we use to schedule any appointments you have with your academic advisor. So usually they're split up into areas of study by campuses. If you want to know what those are, please feel free to contact me and I can refer you to the correct location according to your major. Um, but if not, you can just click on uh, anyone. Taylorsville is our main campus, so I'll use that. I hit schedule there and then you'll go to course planning or anything else really that you have questions about. And you hit continue. And you can select a date here on the left hand side and then a time of the day right here and an advisor as well. So that would be how you go ahead and use that. So we have lots of resources for you there. So please, please take advantage of that. <laughs> That's so awesome, Stephanie. Thank you so much. Um, I know that this information is going to be super helpful for a lot of our students. So having that outlined exactly for them is going to be awesome. Thank you. Uh, so we've all talked about how Slick is a great option for a lot of individuals and how it's a smart start for getting students into life post high school. Um, for those that are on the fence or haven't yet applied or are simply thinking about Slick as an option, can you tell us a little more about how and why Salt Lake Community College is that smart choice to begin their higher education journey? Um, yeah, so we are, I think, very proud of the fact that we're very first generation friendly. So um, most of our employees, actually, myself included, are first generation. So we kind of know the struggle. We've been there. We know it can be a little intimidating. College is a little confusing and difficult to navigate sometimes. So we try to be very open, very available to the students for any questions that they might have. Um, like the saying goes that there are no wrong questions, only wrong question is the one that isn't asked. So we are very, very open to questions or we encourage them. Um, and we see ourselves as sort of a stepping stone for students to go off and to pursue their dreams, right? So a lot of people think, oh, junior college, like just college. Like, yeah, it's not just college because you're not stopping there, right? Hopefully. <laughs> we. We want to be, like you said, a smart start for students. So we want to equip you with the necessary tools and skills to go off to your dream school and just get you started familiar with the resources, with how everything works and with experience necessary to be successful once you go into that big scary university setting where maybe people aren't as easy to find, things are not as easy to navigate. So you're, you'll just be more prepared and hopefully know how to deal with all of that. Um, we also have opportunities and programs that we do in partnership with our sister institutions, so other universities in the state of Utah, uh, such as our honors program. That one's really neat. If you graduate from our program with a 3.5 or higher, you're automatically accepted to the U's honors program once you're accepted there, so that's really awesome. You could get an honors associates and bachelors, like what? who gets to say that? <laughs> you do, hopefully. <laughs> um, and then we also have the same professors that they have at these four-year universities, so that's really cool. I've had students that have the exact same professor for most of their time in college so that's kind of crazy um, and you might think well that's maybe not what I want but trust me you do because that letter of recommendation is going to be glowing um, and then yeah like I said you're familiar with the work um, so you'll be better prepared and then of course obviously we're a pretty cheap option so that's a, always a very smart thing to do save your money and, um, and spend it in a very smart way, and that'll help you get ahead of the game as well. So um, since we have the second lowest tuition in the state, and you also get to save money in housing because you get to hopefully stay in the comfort of your home so you don't have to drive anywhere to do your laundry or to <laughs> go bug your parents for food or something. <laughs> um, so you'll get to already be bugging them constantly. You don't have to worry about paying for it yourself. You get to save yourself all that money. So it all hopefully will go into your schooling and to your academics and it's a wonderful investment. Um, and then again, you'll have more money hopefully saved up to go to your dream school. I love the way you put all of that, Stephanie. That was awesome. Um, I'm a community college student, my, or was a community college student myself back in California. So I just, 
I totally am all for um, community college route. It really was a great transition for myself. Um, and I love discussing Slick as an option with students. I mean, having them listen to this video, I hope that they really are convinced that it is the smart start. It is, you know, really the way to go. If they're just not sure what to do or how to get started in the first place, I mean, as a first generation, you know, student myself and you, like, it makes a lot of sense. Um, so we really appreciate you joining us today. It's been awesome that you have all this knowledge that you can put forth for our students um, and for us. Like we learn more and more every time we talk to you. Um, and students watching this, please note that we've included any links uh, that may have been mentioned in the video down below. So check those out in the description box. Um, please feel free to reach out to your college access advisor, whether that's Alicia or myself. Um, and then Estefsi is always here for you as well if you have any other questions. Um, kind of beyond that, we're always here to help, so please reach out. Awesome. Thank you for having me. I had so much fun and advise you later. Yeah. <laughs>